According to Hindu cosmology, our current era is known as Kali Yuga, which is considered the darkest age. Lord Krishna, who was born in the previous era called Dwapara Yuga, made predictions about the characteristics of Kali Yuga. And shockingly, many of these predictions are proving to be true. One of Lord Krishna's predictions was that people in Kali Yuga would prioritize material possessions over spiritual growth. This imbalance would lead to the rapid destruction of their civilization. Unfortunately, we can observe this trend in our society today, where material wealth and possessions are often valued more than inner development and spiritual well-being. Another prediction was that immoral individuals would hold influential positions in society while innocent people would suffer at their hands. This can be seen in instances where corrupt individuals exploit their power for personal gain, leaving innocent individuals vulnerable and oppressed. Lord Krishna also foresaw that excessive parental love would become detrimental to children's well-being. In Kali Yuga, parents may become overly possessive and protective of their children, inadvertently hindering their growth and independence. Furthermore, Lord Krishna predicted that possessiveness would become a widespread disease in this era. We can witness this phenomenon today as people become increasingly attached to material possessions and struggle with letting go or sharing. Lastly, Lord Krishna mentioned that the land would become infertile and fail to produce crops. While this may not be universally true across all regions, we do face challenges such as environmental degradation and climate change that affect agricultural productivity. In summary, Lord Krishna's predictions about the characteristics of Kali Yuga are proving to be accurate in many aspects. It is disheartening to witness the neglect of spirituality, rise of immorality in positions of power, excessive parental love leading to negative consequences for children, widespread possessiveness as a disease, and challenges with agricultural productivity. However, it is important to remember that even in the darkest times, there is always hope for positive change and spiritual growth.